What's good, YouTube? It is your boy Swiftly back with another NBA 2K25 video. And in today's video, I have another episode of Badge Breakdowns for you guys as you can see on your screen. Today's episode, we are covering the defensive badge, Immovable Enforcer. Now, obviously, when you read the description, it says Immovable Enforcer improves a defensive player's strength when defending ball handlers and finishers. Now, essentially, to put this in, you know, the most, uh, you know, simplest, you know, way possible, this badge is basically the direct counter uh, to strong handle. Uh, you know, it's literally yin and yang. Strong handle, you know, reduces the likelihood of being bothered by defenders when dribbling. Basically, this badge will let you bold over people, just bulldoze over them like prime LeBron in Miami. The direct counter to that badge will be Immovable Enforcer, which is what you would put on to kind of stonewall them to stop them from just bolding over you and just getting to the rim at will, you know? So this is gonna be your direct uh, counter to that badge. And based on how high of a level you have on this uh, badge, and based on how high of a level they have on strong hand, is going to really determine who wins that matchup. So if you're running legend and movable enforcer, then if they're running gold strong hand, do in most cases, they're not going to get past you. You're going to stonewall them. They're going to get bumped and bumped and bruised, and they're not going to be able to do anything with you. Okay. Now me personally, I do have a movable enforcer on legend. I have a 6'4", 235 uh, lockdown at shooting guard. Uh, crazy build, really nice. I have a 97 perimeter, 96 steel, and I also have a 92 strength on that build. So by default, I get legend immovable enforcer. I tailored that build perfectly to a T. Where I get my cap breakers, I'm going to put those two points on perimeter to get 99, and then the three points on steel to get 99 steel. And then I'm going to use my plus one on off ball pest. So at that point, I'm going to have 99. I'm going to have, you know, legend challenger on ball, um, immovable enforcer, uh, and, and all of these badges. I'm going to have legend glove, interceptor, immovable enforcer, and all of that stuff. And then I'm going to use the plus one on pick dodger because my uh, agility only goes up to like 87. You need a 92 for legend. So I'm going to have Hall of Fame pick dodger. I'm going to use my plus one on tier two to get uh, off ball pest. Or I might get off ball pest by default, actually. And then I'm going to use my plus one on pick dodger uh, tier one to get that. So I'm going to have every single perimeter badge on legend. Okay. And that also means that I'm going to have a movable enforcer on legend. And I'm, I've been using the movable enforcer on legend. And I got to say that even players who are taller than me, I sometimes get put at small forward, which means sometimes I'm playing against a six, seven uh, shooting guard. Sometimes I'm playing against a six, eight wing. There are times where they get a good animation and the game just lets them teleport through my body and they just lay the ball up. I don't get a bump animation, but a lot of times I'm able to bump them. They're able to, they're not able to just rim run me at will. Obviously, they're going to score here and there if they're at 6'8", six, 6'9", six, and I'm 6'4". But for the most part, they got to get by me on the perimeter first. And that is also much more difficult. Now, when they don't have the ball, you know, it is a little bit easier for them to just, you know, backdoor cut me or whatever. Because, you know, how the game is. You throw a pass and it just pulls them into the paint. But for the most part, on the perimeter, the higher you have this the easier it's going to be to stonewall people. And this, you know, this this badge for your perimeter defense is going to be your bread and butter. You know, the movable enforcer is the bread. And in conjunction with that, you got on ball minutes. That's going to be your butter. These two badges working together, you're going to be able to stonewall dudes, cut them off, and stop them from getting by you again. Uh, if you want to be able to directly encount, uh, counter strong handle, if you're playing defense and you're wondering why dudes are just like just literally just bouncing off you and getting to the rim every single time, it's because they're using strong handle. And if you look at it, it doesn't really require much. A 60 ball handle and 60 strength will get you bronze. Um, I want to say a 72 ball handle or something like that, or a 70 ball. 70 ball handle like a 67 strength get you uh, you know what let's go up to 60 and see a 67 ball handle with 65 strength will get you silver right and then a 73 ball handle and a 73 strength will get you gold so most builds are going to have like a 70 ish 
60 is strength. So you're looking at a bare minimum of PGs running with like maybe silver strong handle. So if you don't have immovable enforcer at all, they're just going to blow past you and beat you to the rim every single time. And you don't really want that. So again, uh, my recommendation, get this as high as you can. It's pretty cheap. If you look at, you know, what the requirements are, it's rather cheap as far as the perimeter defense goes. Um, I think you need like 60, 62 for bronze. You need 72 for silver. Uh, you need 84 with an 85 strength for uh, gold. And then you need like an 85 perimeter. So even if you have an 85 perimeter uh, build, if you have 85 with 85 strength, you're looking at, at a minimum gold immovable enforcer, you know? So that's going to really just combat and encounter most people. Most people you'll be able to stop. Now, when, you, when you're talking Hall of Fame immovable enforcer, legend immovable enforcer, now you're talking about literally stonewalling most of your matchups, you know? Gold, I would try to use, if I'm getting gold, I would try to use that plus one to get a Hall of Fame because, again, like I said, most people are going to have that gold strong handle. On a budget build, most people are going to have 73 ball handle with at least uh, a 70 something strength. So most people are going to have gold, but most people aren't going to have uh, gold and movable enforcers. So you're going to kind of want to hit that gold level so you could at least use your plus one on this badge. Now, uh, let me know in the comments down below if you use the immovable enforcer badge and if you do what level are you running it at it has been your boy swiftly please be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe for more nba 2k25 content i'm out y'all peace